the viewers greetings in this video we are going to see about the tuberculosis causing bacterium mycobacterium tuberculosis first general characteristics of mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, the mycobacterium tuberculosis is a weak gram positive bacteria due to the presence of mycolic acids lipids and bases in its cell wall and it is an acid fast bacilli and its shape is rod shape non motile in nature capsules absent endospores absent and its size ranging from 0.5 micrometer to 1 micrometer in length and it belongs to the family mycobacteria and it is also called as tubercle bacilli next the mode of respiration uh, the mode of respiration observed in the mycobacterium tuberculosis is aerobic respiration and the optimum temperature required for the cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis is 37 degrees celsius and optimum ph is 5.4 to 6.5 and next the habitat uh, it is usually found in water and soil and regarding the discovery the mycobacterium tuberculosis was discovered by robert koch in the year 1882 disease transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis infection can spread from one person to another person by infectious airborne aerosols and next virulence factors uh, the ability of the microorganisms to cause the disease is called as virulence and the term virulence was first coined by louis pasteur and the virulence factors are the factors which are responsible for causing an infection in human beings uh, the mycobacterium tuberculosis have three virulence factors they are antigen 85 complex mycobacterium tuberculosis pili and cot factor and the first virulence factor uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis can secrete proteins known as the antigen 85 complex uh, which binds with the fibronectin and may help in isolating the bacteria and in second the mycobacterium tuberculosis does not produce any toxins uh, but they produce the pili known as mycobacterium tuberculosis pili or mtp which aids them in adherence and initial colonization in the host cells and the final virulence factor is uh, cot factor or trehalose dimycolate and it is a glycolipid molecule present in the cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis the incubation period for mycobacterium tuberculosis is 2 to 6 weeks and the infective dose required to cause an infection is 50 to 400 coliforming units pathogenesis of mycobacterium tuberculosis the droplet nuclei containing the tubercle bacilli or mycobacterium tuberculosis are inhaled enters the lungs and travel to the alveoli of lungs the mycobacterium tuberculosis or tubercle bacilli multiply in the alveoli and in lungs mycobacterium tuberculosis is phagocytized by alveolar macrophages but they are unable to kill and digest the bacterium uh, its cell wall prevents the fusion of the phagosome with the lysosome uh, which contains a host of antibacterial factors after that the alveolar macrophage cells form a barrier shell called as granuloma that keeps the bacilli contained and under control if the immune system cannot keep the tubercle bacilli or mycobacterium tuberculosis under control uh, the bacilli begins to multiply rapidly and enters into the blood stream and this process can occur in different areas in body such as lungs kidneys brain or bone the mycobacterium tuberculosis results in three clinical diseases the first clinical disease is pulmonary tuberculosis the second clinical disease is extra pulmonary tuberculosis and the third clinical disease is disseminated tuberculosis the first clinical disease caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis is pulmonary tuberculosis if a tuberculosis infection does becomes active it most commonly involve the lungs in about 90% of cases uh, symptoms may include 
chest pain and a prolonged cough producing sputum and about 25 percentage of the people may not have any symptoms and they remain asymptomatic in nature occasionally uh, people may cough of blood in small amounts and in very rare cases the infection may enter into the pulmonary artery or a ramazan's aneurysm and resulting in massive bleeding and finally tuberculosis may become a chronic illness and cause extensive scarring in the upper lobe of the lungs the upper the upper lungs lobes are more frequently affected by the tuberculosis than the lower ones it may be due, it may be due to either better air flow or poor limb drainage with the upper lungs the second clinical disease caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis is extra pulmonary tuberculosis uh, in 50 to 20 percentage of active cases the infection spread outside the lungs causing other kind of tuberculosis uh, these are collectively called as extra pulmonary tuberculosis and this extra pulmonary tuberculosis occurs more commonly in peoples with a weakened immune system and young children uh, in hiv patients extra pulmonary tuberculosis occurs in more than 50 percentage of the cases notably extra pulmonary infection sites includes uh, pleura uh, pleura is a membrane lining the thoracic cavity and covering the lungs and the second one is uh, central nervous system and the third one is lymphatic system the fourth one is uh, genito urinary system and the fourth one is bones and joints and in the pleura tuberculosis fluidity is observed in central nervous system tuberculosis meningitis is observed in lymphatic system scrofala of the neck is observed and in the genito urinary system urogenital tuberculosis is observed and in bones and joints the pod disease of the spine or backbone is observed the third clinical disease caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis is disseminated tuberculosis and this disseminated tuberculosis is a potentially more serious widespread form of tuberculosis and it is also called as myelary tuberculosis and this myelary tuberculosis currently makes up about 10 percentage of the extra pulmonary cases laboratory diagnosis of mycobacterium tuberculosis the first diagnostic method is microscopic examination and under acid fast training the mycobacterium tuberculosis was observed as red colored acid fast bacilli and in motility test it is non motile in nature and this image shows the acid fast bacilli that is the mycobacterium tuberculosis our next colony morphology on culture medium lowenstein jensen medium or lg medium is the selective medium for mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, in the lowenstein jensen medium mycobacterium tuberculosis appears as brown granular colonies uh, sometimes called as uh, buff rough and tough colonies uh, this medium must be incubated for a significant length of time that is usually 4 weeks due to the slow doubling time of the mycobacterium tuberculosis when compared to the other bacterium and the doubling time for the mycobacterium tuberculosis is 15 to 20 hours a biochemical test for mycobacterium tuberculosis identification catalase test negative oxidase test negative urease test positive indole test negative mr test or methyl red test negative vp test or vogus for squat test negative citrate utilization test negative nitrate reduction positive niacin test positive and neutral red test positive and two immuno diagnosis tests are used for the diagnosis of mycobacterium tuberculosis they are tuberculin skin test and interferon gamma release assay both test shows positive reaction for mycobacterium tuberculosis tuberculin skin test a tuberculin skin test is also called as mantox tuberculin test and it is done to see whether the person have been exposed to the tuberculosis or not and the test is done by putting a small amount of tb protein that is a tb antigen uh, which is uh, which is the purified protein derivative or ppd under the top layer of the skin on the inner forearm 
If the person have ever been exposed to the TB bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis, his skin will react to the antigen by developing a firm red bump at the sites within two or three days. The second immunodiagnosis test is interferon gamma release assay. And this interferon gamma release assay or whole blood test that can aid in the diagnosis of the mycobacterium tuberculosis infection and they do not help to differentiate the latent tuberculosis infection from the tuberculosis disease. Finally, treatment and prevention. The prolonged treatment with multiple drugs is required to prevent the development of drug resistant strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Isoniazid, ethambutol, pyrazinamide and rifampin for 2 months followed by 4 to 6 months of isoniazid and rifampin or an alternative combination of drugs is required. A prophylaxis for exposure to tuberculosis can include isoniazid for 6 to 9 months or rifampin for 4 months, pyrazinamide and ethambutol or levofloxacin are used for 6 to 12 months after exposure to the drug resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis. Immunoprophylaxis with the BCG vaccine or Bacillae calmet urine vaccine is highly recommended and the control of disease through active surveillance, prophylactic, prophylactic and therapeutic interventions and careful care monitoring is highly appreciable. Dear viewers, that's all about the mycobacterium tuberculosis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.